Hello, this is Brian from BTR, and today we're here to talk about our LT swap camshaft. So we're pretty excited about this thing because it uh, because we we love the Gen 5 engines; they make a lot of power. Uh, now, what a lot of people don't realize is the Gen 5 engines. When you look at the cylinder head, the intake and exhaust valve locations are swapped compared to Gen 4. So whenever you go to make a camshaft uh, for a Gen 4 engine with Gen 5 heads on it, you know you're swapping the intake and exhaust lobe locations. A lot of people don't realize how big a deal that is to have those uh, locations swapped. When you look at most cam cores that everyone in the country grinds, uh, a cam core that a typical cam shaft manufacturer grinder uh, grinds, it already looks like a cam shaft when they grind it, right? So generally the only way you get these swap lobes is to start with an 8620 round lobe core so you lobe bill it uh, to this shape and um, that's a very expensive core, right? And so we produce this from 5150 core. Obviously, you have to produce a lot of them to get uh, the price point and get them made. Um, but that gets the price point below $400, which is where we like to see a billet still LS uh, LT cam if possible. It's a very cool, um, you know, power package because our LS3 struggles to make 600 horsepower, and this package made about 660 and uh, with the GMPP heads milled 43 thousandths for compression. When we milled the, the, the uh, LT4, LT1 heads, we had to fly cut the pistons, uh, but if we bolted them on out of the box, uh, we didn't have to fly cut the pistons, and they actually made more power than like a CNC aftermarket Turkflow LS3 head, for example. Uh, now, obviously, since you're running a Gen 5, sonar head you have to run a gen 5 intake manifold and you have to run a gen 5 intake manifold that's machined for injectors so we sell two different trinities uh, trinity intakes we sell a car and a truck and we're eventually going to have uh, an intermediate uh, runner uh, intake that's between those um, you have to purchase a plug kit to plug the injector locations on the sonar heads you have to run gen 5 uh, headers you have to run gen 5 push rod length and um, and then you run LS3, you know, Gen 4 type head gaskets, and that pretty much completes the package. Um, you do have to machine the dowel location in the Gen 5 head to match what the Gen 4 head would normally be, because the dowels are the dowels are on the top of the block rather than the bottom uh, when you go from from Gen 5 to Gen 4. So so uh, anyway, um, it's a very very cool package, and we're pretty excited about it.